Blender provides a lot of information with its interface and can be flexible enough to fit the workflow you need. Let's go over some of the basics on how to interpret and interact with Blender's UI. Before we begin, I want to point out that there is a very handy display at the very bottom of the user interface. This is an informative display that lets you know what each click can do in the context your cursor is at the moment. It also applies to when certain hotkeys are being held down to change the function of certain clicks. For example, if you hold shift, you can see the information at the bottom changing. It tells us that without holding shift, your middle mouse button rotates your perspective, but holding shift pans your perspective. Feel free to refer to this display at any time while watching this series or playing around with Blender to learn more of its features. As a quick reference, here are what some of the mouse icons translate to. Now, the next big thing you'll notice is that each important section of the UI is separated into panels. These panels are scalable if you click and drag any of the boundaries, and they can also be